I'm going to show you how to put a veil in a really soft, relaxed, textured hairstyle. So first of all, when it comes to working with the veil, remember you always want the comb, the curve of the comb, to sit against the curve of the head. So if you're worried which way the veil needs to sit, just have a look at the veil and just make sure that the comb, the curve this way, sits against the curve of the head. And then we have two choices. We could either put the veil at the front here, just in front of the height, or you could put it just behind the height. But I wouldn't recommend putting it on top of here because you'll just spoil the style. And also, when she takes the veil out later on, there'll be a big dip in the hair here. So it's probably not a good idea to put it right in the middle there. With the texture, you almost don't need to worry too much about a lot of back combing. So when you've got a lot of texture in the hair, it will actually help you to hold the veil in place. So if you're going to work at the front here, if you've got a bit of back combing in there or some texturizing powder, you will need to use the comb to help, help you nudge the veil into the hair. So you need to almost work with a mirror so you can check you've got the veil into the center. When we work at the back here, I'll show you exactly how I'm working with the comb. But you simply slide the veil into the hair and you can pop a couple of bobby pins either side of the veil here, just along the comb. And that will help that veil to stay in position until she's ready to take that veil out later. Now let me show you at the back. So do one of those on either side, put the bobby pin on either side of the comb. And to take that out, you're going to just hold the hair in position while you gently nudge the veil out. That's it. So now let me show you exactly what I'm doing with the comb. So if you're going to put the veil here at the back, it, ideally if you get somebody to help you just to hold the, the veil bit out of the way so you can see what you're doing a little bit better, make sure you're in the centre of the style. And as you push the veil down, so as you push the comb down into the hair, you're going to use the tail, the tip of your tail comb to gently nudge the hair up in between the little sections on the comb, the little teeth on the comb. So the veil goes in, into the hair. So you're trying to aim to get it behind the bobby pins that are sitting here. And as you push that down, you're going to put your tail comb into the hair and pull the hair up as you push down with this hand. So the two are kind of working together. And that should slide in beautifully behind all those bobby pins and hair pins. And if you need to, again, you could pop a couple more bobby pins across the back of the comb there. And then your veil is in position. Now, if, as you can see on this one, you can see the top of the comb there. So we don't, that's not very nice. It's, you know, you, ideally you don't want to be able to see that. So I'm going to show you how you would cover that up. So what we need to do, hold the veil up and I'll use some black pins. And you just need to push these pins through the veil. Stay close to the comb. So you don't want to be kind of pushing it up here. You want to be very close to the comb here. Push that through. So it comes all the way through the back of the veil and you can see the pin, hairpin just then. It's just a fine pin I'm using. And then just bring that down. Let me just tip her a little bit so you can see. So you don't want to kind of bring that up and bring the comb, the pin, all the way up here. You want to tip it so the pin just touches just above the comb of the veil. And then you're going to do a little up and over and pop it behind the comb. And then we'll do another one at this side. So here's the pin, pop that in, push it through the veil. There's the pin. Do it up and over and push it behind there. That's it, and then it looks much better. And we'll do one more at this side here. 
Now you won't have to do this all the time. You don't have to do this for every veil. It just depends on how they've been made and whether or not this the plastic comb there is visible. If it isn't, then you don't need to worry. And there we have a lovely veil. You would show the bridesmaids, show the bridesmaids where the pins are so they know which ones to take out. Because quite often at the moment, the fashion is for very long cathedral length veils. So it's unlikely that she'll want to keep it in all day and into the evening. So this way she can have the veil in. It's nice and secure and it looks beautiful. Just nudge those piecey bits back again and she's ready to walk down the aisle.